Tis the season to be shipping. You know, presents, cookies, candies, chocolate. I must be hungry. La 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 la. Who doesn't love getting a big brown box of something in the mail? And sending them is almost as much fun. Bubble pack is awesome. I just can't stop. But once you've got your package packaged and you're all ready to hit send, you realize, this isn't an email. I have to pick a shipping company. Let's see. There's USPS, FedEx, UPS, DHL, Airborne Express, and about a jillion others. Each one has its own ups and downs, so we'll cut to the chase and hit the highlights. Shipping mom some earrings and you want to look into insurance? For most of the major carriers, it's free up to $100. After that, you need to declare the value and pay a little extra. The post office is an exception. With them, you have to pay for any kind of value protection. And watch out for FedEx here. They give us the runaround for about two hours. You can't call it insurance. They don't offer that. It's called declared value, but they claim it's the same thing. Are you paranoid? You want to watch the package get there? Tracking is standard with all major carriers, and the tracking number is usually found on your copy of the shipping slip. To track most packages, you just put in the number in the company's website, and they'll tell you where your package is right now. Again, the post office is the exception to the rule. Anything sent regular or first-class mail can't be tracked. Express Mail, Global Express, guaranteed, and Express Mail International are the ones you want. Also, make sure to request a tracking number from the clerk when you hand over the package. Lazy? Have them come to you. Call your carrier and have them come get your package. There does tend to be a small fee, $10 or so for the service. But not with the good old post office. You can request a carrier pickup and have your regular mailman grab the package when he comes by. You can also pay to have him pick up on demand, you know, at a specific date and time. But we know what the real issue here is. Money. Oh yeah. You want to find out the price difference so you'll know which carrier is cheaper. <laughs> well, it just so happens we have a website or two listed below that will help you compare rates. So good luck and happy shipping. May you find the cheapest deal. Who doesn't love to get a big brown box of something in the mail? That sounds really bad. <laughs>